All right, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to trick you here, but you know, just talking to people, if you, if you pass San Antonio, you get Oklahoma in the second round. I know you don't, you hate to look forward, <laughs> but you, you still want to pass San Antonio, right? We're playing every game for what it's worth. All right, now this isn't a trick question, but people are wondering if you guys want to finish first in the West, because then you might see Oklahoma in the second round. I know it's looking ahead a while, but yeah. Oklahoma's pretty good. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You want to play your best basketball. Who you meet and who you meet in the playoffs, that's... I mean, I think that's what scared teams do. Try to position themselves. So they can, you know what I mean? Because you're going to have to play them or play a team that beat them. So, some way down the line. So, it really doesn't matter. Let me rephrase. You're not the type of sandbag. You've kind of, uh, you know, jived the Clippers a little bit about that a few years ago. I mean, you want to you run the table if you can, for sure, right? We want to win every game we can win. Okay. Um, I'm not going to run from the team not to finish first. That's what this is all about. And that's the problem with some teams. Not to take a shot at anybody, but I watch a, you know, from being around Phil and Kobe and Derek, and, you know, you just look up yeah, yeah, at the banners, you know, like you don't put division titles up and things like that. You know, it's, you know, our goal is to be the best, the best team. And if we can finish in the, as, the, as the best team in the West, I, you know, I see an accomplishment. Yeah, no, no, from that. no one feel like it is going to keep practicing with the next couple weeks. I mean, you guys, you know, like game and half back in San Antonio. I mean, we're right here. And this is, you know, this is the time we come a little bit more intense, you know, pick up their focus, and, you know, do our meditation. Just to be the best, you know, so it's not going to matter. That's you, want, right, you won't give Sacramento a freebie on a, their last game in <laughs> Cowtown? No, I, I feel really badly about Sacramento, but, you know, we'll get to that when we get to there. You mentioned that last night. Are you, are you serious about that? You've you yeah. kind of given them a hard time over the years. They're the best fans in the league. They, they touted them the best fans in the league, did they, for Man, years, for <laughs> you know, five, six years. I mean, they, they made a cacophony out of that the little building. The cowbells. Maybe they'll bring them back the last game. The cowbells? Yeah, they'll, they'll be there. <laughs> well, Mark, this particular stretch run you're on right now, is this the best you can remember being a part of since you've been here? Um, we had some good stretches. I know. You know yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but during the season, not, uh, not postseason. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. We have some good stretches um, for, for, for those runs that we've, that we've made. Um, but, um, you know, you're only good as your last game, so, you know. Right now, we're playing great basketball. And the thing about our team is we feel like we can even play better. And uh, you know, we'll just keep trying to push. How so? You said you think you guys think you can play better. We're just looking for perfection. Areas? We're looking for perfection. You know, so you know, whether it's defense or missed assignments or missed free throws, or, you know, getting down, you know, we, we don't want to do that. We're looking to play the perfect game. <laughs> It seems like the team's really been playing with a chip on his shoulder since the All-Star break. What can you tell me about the kind of statement you're sending to the rest of the NBA going into the playoffs? The rest of the well, team? it's not about that. It's about us. Uh, it's about what we you know, demand out of ourselves as a team and how we want to play. Uh, you know, we felt like uh, you know, we let some things go early in the year because we knew it was a long push. And, you know, when the All-Star game came, it's 25 games left. Let's you know, let out all the stops and go for it. You say let some things go early. What? Any things in particular? You know, double practices. You know, doing things that are you know strenuous for players that are veterans. You know, just keeping it light and not not making it too tough. When, you're, when your team's going on stretches like this, where they're winning a lot of games, a uh, you know, long period of time, what what goes into sustaining that type of effort? Well, it's refocused because it's so easy to have a half like you have against Utah the other night and, you know, come, come out of that with a double-digit deficit and then you're going in the locker room going, you know, we're going to have to burn up a lot of energy to get back in this game. And you were able to do that before the half end to get it back to six points and have something going. But you're going to have bad games in the stretch when you win and you still have to be able to win because of it. So, uh, you know, I think that's something this team's recognized that, uh, you know, we're not going to play 100% every night, but we have a defense that can hold us in. What can you say about the way Andrew's been playing since the All-Star break? Seems like he's really been bringing a physical presence to the team down low. You know, it's just it seems like he's really been playing really great since the All-Star break. Well, I mean, Andrew's, you know, seven feet, you know, 
296. You know, the thing about it, it's probably the biggest or second biggest center next to I have in the league. And uh, you know, we need him to play that play that way. You know, if, if he's you know if he's not going to score you know 15 to 20 points, we still need him to grab boards and you know protect our rim and, and just be a presence down there. And, you know, I remember yesterday he kind of started off slow and. In the second half, he had that reverse dunk. Yeah, you should have pretty, seen, pretty fired up. You should have seen um, the fans, and, and you tell they were like, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and when, when he gives us that, then, you know, he adds a, a whole other dimension to our team. How important has Andrew's play since the All Star break been to the success your team's been able to have? Since well, the, there's break. no doubt that Andrew makes us a a power team, a team that uh, you know has size and strength. Uh, intimidates people inside and, and whatnot, but it's his rebounding, his defense that's made a difference for us, and it's been uh, the difference between being a really good team and a, a team that can be a championship team. All right, thanks, 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 coach. Coach. Well, sorry.